Welcome to Total Body Conditioning. We're really using only two light water bottles or two light weights. So make sure that you have that. You can run and go get that if you need to. And then we have a mat or a nice thick towel for you to use also. So we're gonna just start by toe tapping, taking our toes out. So in the workout, remember that you can rest whenever you want to, whenever you need to, drink water at any time, and then modify the exercises. So if you're finding that we're doing something that's not comfortable or you're not able to do it, it's okay to stop and change how you're using it. So if we're doing squats, or how about this? If we're doing lunges, a lunge to a knee lift, then just stay in a, in a basic lunge. Just stay in a basic lunge. You don't have to do any knee lifting or any jumping. Okay, so let's toe tap a little bit deeper. This warm up is gonna be just simple, just toe tapping. Just start and then raising the arms. Right here. So we're gonna use this to warm up the body, get the blood flowing, get the muscles warmed up for the workouts. Okay, let's do some hamstring curls right here. So right here, you're just using the back of the legs, pulling the arms back into hamstring curls. But I'm really wide in my feet, so I'm taking my heels up. Very good. Keep going in this hamstring curl. Okay, keep going. A few more. Now let's take our arms, open and close. Keep the legs moving. Oh. So when you add the arms like this, it's a good way to add more muscle, different muscle group, and it gets your heart rate elevated a little bit more because you're using more muscle. Oh. Very nice. Let's see if we can change arms again. Bring the arms up. And now in and out. So we're gonna draw the in. Arms. In and out. <sighs> Arms are going in and out. We're still in hamstring curls. Keeping our butt. Let's see if we can get a little sweaty. <sighs> Today, hopefully, you'll feel your heart rate elevate. And you'll be able to tell, oh, I had a workout this morning. A few more. Now lift. Still keep kicking your butt. You're still kicking your butt. Keep going, keep going. And march. Okay. Very nice. Take a few wide. Okay, so we're going to slow squat. So the music I'm playing is pretty low. The squat. It's not at a real high level, so you may or may not hear my music. You can use your own music if you want. <sighs> We've got it. Try to follow along with my tempo and the speed that I'm doing, but if you need to slow down, you can do that. If you want to go faster, you can do that also. Let's lift through the leg. Drop, wide leg. Drop, wide leg. This is a sumo squat. Drop, lift. <sighs> Drop and lift. Boy! So we're dropping down into our buttocks, drawing the leg out to the side. That's all it is. So let's keep going with this. <sighs> a few more. I'm wearing my microphone today. So if you hear me breathing, hot and heavy, it's because I'm wearing a microphone and it's so close to my mouth. <sighs> and I can't pretend I'm not breathing heavy. Four more, four, three, two, one. Hold center and march. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna do the mongo step just because it's a great way to start activating the quad. Easy exercise. Really good way to move that leg. Front and back. Right foot. Forward. 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 
imagine you're kind of running. Yeah, lift the arms. <sighs> drop into your front leg. So we're trying to drop our body weight into the front leg. And we're just moving our body. Fluid movement. Forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Switch side, left. <sighs> so now we're taking our left foot and we're going forward and back. I didn't really count, but we're gonna go by feel. We're gonna do as many reps as it feels even. <sighs> Keep going. Drop into your left leg. Drop into the quad. Feel the quad muscle. Good, maybe four more. Four, three, two, and one. Hold center and just march. Okay, turning the toes out. So we're gonna come back nice and wide. Shoulders back and down. We're gonna just lift. So this is a squat, a plie squat. And arms lifting up high over the head. So we're doing this as a great way to stretch the back. So see if you can drop into your plie. Your toes are turned out. Then your arms come up high. But here's the thing. On this one, if you can, come with me still. If you can, squeeze through your back muscle down and in. I'm gonna turn sideways. So instead of just lifting, use your back muscle. When the arms come up, the back muscle squeezes down. So see if you can do that. And it really feels like a strong actual exercise. So you're gonna come up, now squeeze your back. Squeeze your back. Squeeze your back when you lift. Squeeze your back when you lift, right there. So you're squeezing your back down into the floor. It's a good one. Let's try two more. Two, do one more, and let it go. Okay, marching center. So remember, at any time you can drink your water. You don't have to wait for that. So let's go into a little tap back, tappy back. Bring the arms front and center. Okay. So we're bringing our arms up, and we're just tapping back behind us. Let's add a little lift if you can. Lift, 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 lift. <sighs> so this is kind of like you're jumping, it is. You're jumping a little bit, but it's a comfortable jump. And if you feel like, oh, I can't do this, I don't want to do this jump today, I'm not with that, or I don't want to do it, just hold and tap back like this. Very good. You can do whatever you can do, right? Even if you just stand here like this, it's better than doing nothing. So we're here. Okay, now try to lift your knees a little higher. Lift the knees a little higher. And we're tapping back. I'm gonna turn sideways. Tap back, tap back, tap back, tap back. Keep going. Keep going a few more. Four, three, two, one. Hold center march. Take some deep breaths. Think about how you feel. Nice and wide with the feet. Okay. So squat to stand. Here's what we're gonna do. It's the kind where you turn your toes out and you go straight. And you turn out. And you go straight. And you turn out. Hold center march. Okay. I've got a clock right up there. If you see my eyes, I'm going like this. So I'm going to count for 30 seconds. And then we're going to work through it. Do that 30 seconds to your best ability, as fast, as high, as low as you can go. And then we'll rest. But today I'm going to count. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Okay, so this movement is toes turned out. Keep job. Turn, stop, turn, turn out, turn out, turn out. Really good. Come with me here. 
four, three, shoulders back and down, two, do one more, one, and let it go, and then march. That's what we're gonna do. Hopefully, you did that with me, so you can feel how it's gonna work. Shoulders always stay back in our squat, squat, right? Okay, here we go. 30 seconds. Take your toes out, nice and wide, shoulders back and down. Set, here we go. Drop, center, drop, center, that's all it is. So this exercise is a really good one. Keep squeezing through your butt muscle and press your knees out. See if you can press your knees to the outside of your shoes. Can you do that? Keep going. Ah, keep going. Keep going. And let it go. All right, March. Ah, rest. Let's take some deep breaths. After every rest, for sure, grab some water if you want. And then if you need it in the middle of the work, just grab it. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Let's take our feet big and wide. Deep breaths. Get ready to go into the work. Toes out or toes wide. Here we go. Drop, turn, drop, turn out. Drop, shoulders back. <sighs> shoulders back. Yee! Keep working through this. So you're squeezing your butt and pressing your knees back. Remember your work in here. It's not just going down, it's squeezing your butt and pressing your knees out. Press the knees out to the outside of the shoes. Okay, let it go. Deep breaths to a tap. I always have to adjust my clothes. I keep saying that. Toes tap. Okay, we're gonna do it again. This is your third round. Deep breaths. I'm gonna turn sideways for a second so you can see my form. So notice, here's my squat. I'm gonna squeeze my butt and press my knees back so my knees aren't gonna fall in. I'm gonna use my butt to pull and press the knees to the back of the room to the outside of my shoes. There's the outside of my shoes. Okay, now that we've had a really long break, let's do it again, 30 seconds. Set, go. Drop, turn, drop, burn. <sighs> Take deep breaths. When you're working, remember to breathe and not hold your breath. <sighs> because sometimes we do that, but we need oxygen. <sighs> keep going, keep going. Your legs should be feeling this. Some of us may feel, be feeling this a lot. Like me. Let it go. <sighs> Toes tap. It's a lot of leg work right here. Keep taking deep breaths. Ah, toes tap. We got one more. Fourth one in a row. We're not gonna alternate right now. Fourth one straight in a row. Can you go bigger? Oh, oh. Try to go wider. Set. Ready? Go. Jump. Out. Jump. Out. So I took my feet. And I went wider. Toes turn straight, and then they turn out. Straight, out, straight. Can you keep going? I think you can. I think you can. Even when it aches, you know you're almost done. So push through this. Five seconds. Oh, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Okay, let it go. Oh, turn, deep breaths. Oh, good work. Okay, hopefully you've been feeling your quads a little bit. All right, we're only gonna do eight of these, and then eight. So on your own, we're gonna lift really high for eight counts. Five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. So rest for a second. You can stay same arm, same leg, or opposite, if you want. That's gonna work your brain a little bit more. Then, when you reach for the opposite, 
inside ankle, you're gonna do eight of those. Eight of these. I'm doing the same arm, same leg. And then eight of these. Okay? Try to do that. So you don't have to worry about the time. You're just counting your eight and eight. So if I stop, you have to keep going, okay? Eight and eight. High knee run looks like this. One, eight. Your body pulled up, or think about pulling your body 
up into the sky. All your effort. Push. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Push through it. And you're almost there. No chops, no chops. Keep going. Okay. Let it go. Plank walk. Let's come down. Deep breaths. Okay. So you've got your hands holding in front of you. Elbows under the shoulders. Get ready. Set. Lift. Plank walks. Draw your stomach in tight. Lift through the leg. Oh. I'm looking straight down. Remember, if you need to, just stay in a plank or even on one knee. You're still going to work through the stomach and your butt is totally working. Keep going, keep going. You only have five more seconds. Try to keep going. Use your butt muscle and your stomach. Let that go. Okay. Now this will be your second set of lunge hops. Let's try for 30 seconds. But the goal here is not just to lunge hop like that. Push up high. That means you're going to power through your quad muscle. Okay, you ready? Set, go. Take deep breaths. Keep breathing. Deep breaths. 30 seconds. So you're pushing off the ground. Push off the ground. Use your quads. I think we've got it. Keep going. Lunge hops, lunge hops. Power off the ground. Try to keep working through it. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Let go. Deep breaths. Planks again. Grab some water. I'm not trying to kill you or myself. Deep breaths. Longer rest. Okay. Plank walks. Remember here, you are squeezing your butt. Okay. Whoa. Coming down. Elbows under the shoulders. In a straight line. Ready? Lift. Oh. Yee. Okay, so we are going for 30 seconds of core. Of core, of course. Keep your stomach tight. Lift through the leg by using your butt. So use your butt. Keep your stomach drawn and tight. Keep going a few more. Stomach tight. Stomach tight. Butt tight. Let it go. Let's come up. Ah, deep breaths. Okay. Let's grab your two light bottles or light weights. Hey guys, these are good. Rear deltoid fly. The movement, taking your water bottles or your light weights, is just bringing the arms out to the side. But the key is our hinge. So we're in a hinge. You got it? Big and wide. So this is different than a rear fly. A rear fly looks like a W. This is straight out. So let's make sure we're in a hinge. You're gonna hinge over and cut from the hip. Bend yourself in half. Raise the arms out to the side. Nice and wide. Come with me, come with me. Let's practice. Use your back muscle and your rear shoulder. Back muscles, rear shoulders. Try one more. And let it go. Okay. You with me out there? Doing these little rear deltoid flies? Okay, so that was practice. Now we're really gonna do it. Let's add the full movement, which is going to be on one foot. So we're gonna take one leg back. Let's take, let's take your right leg back. And we're gonna lift and lower into the rear deltoid fly. Again, remember, your arms are straight and you're hinging forward like this. And then we're gonna lift 
lift, lift, okay? Let's do this. We're not gonna do 30 seconds. We're gonna do 16 singles. Can you come with me? Set and lift. One, two, three, four. Look out in front of you. Five, pull your stomach in tight. Six, seven, pull your stomach in tight. Eight, nine, 10. Shoulders back, 11 and down, 12. 13, can you keep lifting your leg? 14, stay in a hinge. 15, look out in front of you, squeeze the back, and let go. Oh, hopefully you're sweating. I'm sweating. But even more importantly, we would want our heart rates elevated. When we're working hard, our heart rates need to elevate a little bit. Okay, are you ready? Other side. Now the left leg goes back. Arms are long and straight. You're using your rear shoulders and your back muscle. Let's use your back. Set, here we go. One, two, three, good. Four, this isn't fast. Five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze your butt muscle. Nine, to lift it up. 10, lift the leg up. 11, nice and long arms. 12, 13, 14, use your back muscles. 15, down and in, squeeze your shoulder blades. 16, I think, let it go. Okay, we can put the weights down for a second. Take deep breaths. All right, toes tap. So this exercise is cardio, and it's pretty easy. All you're gonna do is hop up and go side to side. So it's like this, hop, drop, hop, drop. Super easy. We can do this anywhere. All you need is a little space. And then if you don't wanna do the hop, raise both arms up overhead and drop. Lift and drop. And your goal is to get those arms up overhead all the way and then touch the ground if you can. Can you do that? Up and then touch. Okay, we are gonna do this for 30 seconds. As fast, as high, and as low as you can go. Okay, you ready? 30 seconds. Go, up, drop, up, drop, up, drop and reach, reach, reach. Can you keep going? Can you keep going? And you may be going faster than me, and that's great. Go as fast as you can. Go as high as you can in your jump. TBC, total body conditioning. Oh, reach up, tap, you're almost there. You're almost there. Okay, let it go. Deep breaths. Oh, so hopefully, when you finish those drills, your heart rate is elevated. Take deep breaths. Stay with me here. Do you feel like you're working out today? Oh, good. Well, we're doing it together. Back to the rear, deltoid fly. Grabbing your light weight. In fact, I'm gonna use my water balls just to show you what it would look like. Okay, let's take your right leg back. Arms are long. Squeeze your back muscle. Down and in. Set, ready, and lift. Out. Two, three, then forward. Four, five, six. Squeeze your back. Seven, eight. Soft knee. Nine, on your left. Ten, stomach tight. <laughs> Shoulders back and down. Twelve, 13, squeeze your shoulder blades. 14, like you're gonna pop a bubble. 15, do one more. 16, let it go. <sighs> Deep breaths. Okay, did you do all 16? Did you? That's the goal, we just try. Do what you can, other side. So the leg is gonna go back on the left. Hinge forward. So remember your hinge isn't here. It would be here. It's very far forward. You ready? 16 singles. Let's go here. One, two, soft knee on the right. 
three, four, your strike muscle, five, reach your shoulder blades, seven, down and in, eight, nine, like you're squeezing a bubble, ten, or maybe squeezing clay, twelve, thirteen, stay in your hinge, fourteen, squeeze your back muscle and your stomach is tight, I think that's sixteen, one more, okay, oh, taking some deep breaths, we've got it, okay, we're going back, into those jumps to touching the floor. Again, make sure you have nothing in your way. Clear space. Remember, you can just hold your arms up, press up, and tap, press up, and tap. Okay, you are almost done. Let's do this, let's go fast and high and low. 30 seconds. I'm gonna start to my left this time. Set, go. Drop, low. Try to get low on that. Getting low is really tough. Getting high is tough too, but when you kind of touch your fingers all the way to the ground, that's tough. Can we do it? I think we can. Oh, I just missed one finger. Oh no. Oh, can you tap the ground? Keep going. Can you tap it? Okay, and let it go. Oh. Deep breaths, good work. Okay, so.